There is uh, two people uh, through the stars that lead. The first one is again President Clinton. Hmm. Okay. And the second one is, uh, uh, what is, uh, I forgot his name now. Uh, he was in the Grand War. A very important general. Uh, general Colin Powell. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going to be a tight, tight energy between those two guys. <laughs> with the President of the United States ending up again in charge. You know, uh, with the President winning? Mm hmm. Well, there's a sad message from the stars. Well, for many I'm sorry, <laughs> but you know, the stars don't care. They do things as they're supposed to. All right, from Daryl in Arizona, ask your guest. Uh, whether we will have World War III ever, and if so, when will it be? Okay, I think the United States should be more concerned with the upcoming internal religious war, which is going to take place starting about a year from now. Excuse me, religious war? Inside the United States, yes. There are going to be some... Uh, once the dragon's head and once the dragon stayed under the sign of Pisces, that's going to produce some serious stress on the religious front. Sad enough, there are going to be more uh, killing, more more uh, dis disruption with uh, for or against abortion dilemma that would go out of hand. Then on top of that, you have to keep in mind that the next two years are going to be taken care by the planet Mars, which is the planet of war. So indeed, we're going through some serious trouble here unless we get to understand what's going on and start to use diplomacy in every area. The thing that's going to, that really worries me most is the, uh, uh, the attack, so to speak, of the police force against the young generation, which is going to get out of hand. You're talking about a gang generation now. Across America, in places like New Orleans and other cities, there is much violence. Young people killing young people. That's correct. Uh, I would think that your method of looking at energy would be able to forecast how that's going to go. Is it going to get worse? Better? Yes. Worse? Yes. The worse. reason why those kids are killing themselves is because the planet of Pluto is in the, is in the sign of Libra, which rules partnership. Those kids uh, have a strong... Uh, strong beliefs of respect no matter how old they are they they live for their for a false sense of security they, they live for a band and they actually regenerate in situation of life and death the seventh house is open the enemy which means the police force and the structure of the of uh, our society and those kids combined with Mars, though which is called in greek mythology the lord of the war for the next two years we are on for a bumpy time again those those, all these predictions are great, in great detail in my books, but I cannot cover that tonight, obviously. All right, well, that's the next subject, uh, and I'm going to have to make you do it. Art, the doctor has mentioned several times his book with the predictions, but nothing about where you can get the books. Please ask him how. Okay, uh, first of all, they could get... Um you can get our Earth Tribulation Report, which is from L.A., the New World Millennium Institute. Uh, they can call our voicemail at 714-219-419. Four five zero three. Then they can line up to get all my prediction month after month. Now, if they want my book, then they have to call another number, which is a record six zero two six zero two four eight two four eight two. Correct. Four eight two five five two zero. All right. Let me repeat this uh, for the uh, Earth. Uh, what is it called again? Your report monthly. Earth Tribulation Report. Earth Tribulation Report at area code 714-219-4503. Yep. This and your book is area code 602-482-5520. Correct. Now, this book is published in Russia, Czechoslovakia, Germany, Mexico, and the United States. And it came out just this year in the United States, so I'm just starting to put it out there. So it's brand new. Yes, he also tells you when to invest. Oh, we shouldn't have given my number now. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 All right, Doctor, let's go to another call. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Dr. Lewis Turi. Yes, this, um, I'd like to ask Dr. Turi if astrologically there's a similarity between the dates that he gave. I noticed that some of them are near a solar eclipse, some mm -hmm. are near lunar eclipses. No, darling, I do not use modern astrology. This uh, doesn't really work. Uh, I use divine astrology, which is the most famous 16th century method. Remember, he didn't have a computer. He didn't have a watch. So he doesn't go by solar return, eclipse, the rising, sextile degree, and so forth. The technique I use is called divine astrology, and I have a, a specific program that was made uh, by... Um, 
Halloran Software in L.A. I'm the only one who, do, who does this type of astrology. And All right. Divine astrology? That's correct, yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the call, and uh, good evening. East of the Rockies, you're on the air with Dr. Lewis Turry. Hi. Yeah, how you doing, Art? Right. Um, where, you, where are you, sir? I, I'm in Montana. All right. I get you out of Salt Lake. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I think the difference between uh, Dr. Turi and Scallion is that um, his intuition is directed toward astrology, obviously, which is very much Science. dealing with dates. Yes. And Scallion's intuition is directed toward the planet itself right now. So he gets information intuitively regarding specific things like epicenters and yes. magnitudes and so on. And so the individual people have to decide which is more useful. That, that's well, correct. Yeah. Well, and I also think it will be interesting um, to take the dates given by Dr. Turi and apply them to whatever happens regarding specific predictions of Scallion. Right, right. Well, I want you to understand that when I, when I give dates like I did tonight... I want you to keep a close eye on it because I'm telling you, it will happen. Not that because I saw it in a dream. That's no. because my past, my previous record prediction is, as I said, on TV and radio, is an agreeable certified mail was sent to the Seismology Institute in Pasadena. Uh, there is many newspapers and books all over the world which are carrying my predictions, and it's all there, and it can be given to anybody which is skeptical. Don't worry, doctor. We'll be watching. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> quick question. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Turi. Um, if you work on it, can you uh, work on a specific area or specific individuals in terms of how that relates to what would happen in dates? Absolutely, sir. Uh, countries like uh, person are also controlled by the stars. Like the United States, for example, is a country which is controlled by the sign of cancer. Cancer is the sign that rules traditionally the fourth house, which is the base of operation, housing, clothing, and food. America is the only country in the world where people are spending millions of dollars to lose fat. Okay? A country which is forced to spill food all over the world to help other people. A country which is so magnetic because of the American dream, because beauty, because the possibility of making your dreams come true. That is represented by the sign of cancer, eating constantly, perched on a rock, and the food supply is represented by the ocean. France is controlled by Leo, the sign of power, love, and romance. That's why we say French are romantic. Russia. Right, your, your newsletter, so does that give more specific My information book, regarding uh, places and, and individuals? Uh, it is a good yes. question. Your, yes. news, your newsletter does get specific? Absolutely. It gives you great detail in relocation, uh, when to go out if you're looking for UFOs. The Michigan UFOs was predicted a year and a half ago. The most obvious UFO experience uh, that was recorded on a radar in March, in March the 7th, I think, yes was fully predicted in my calendar when I tell everybody to go out and look for them that specific night. All right. Uh, now, Art, I was busy dialing. I missed his number before the show ends. Will you give his uh, number out again? Yes, uh, I'll, I'll do it right now. So, and please don't call now. Yeah, oh, don't call now. Um, if you would like his monthly report, it's area code 714-219-4503. Uh, his book, uh, which I have a copy of uh, right here called Star Guide, uh, can be obtained at area code 602-482-5520. Hope you got it. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Dr. Lewis Turi. Hi. Hi, I'm calling from San Diego. Yes, sir. Uh, could you tell us more about your encounter with the UFO? Uh, tell you what, I'm going to be doing a conference in San Diego. I'll be at the Golden Lights of Christ Church, 4144 Campus Avenue. Uh, you want to call those guys? I'm going to do. A, I'm going to show a, a slideshow on uh, uh, where people are going to see actually a, a UFO landing in the desert of Mexico. So we're going to see all sorts of interesting things. So I'm going to give you a number uh, for those guys over there, if I may. Uh, are, can San I Diego. Uh, all right, go ahead. It's uh, 619-463-8727. I'll be doing a big lecture over there in San Diego in a couple of weeks from now. All right, you get that caller. Yes, thank you. All right, thank you. Six one nine four six three eight seven two seven. Yeah, that's my next lecture in California. All right, very good. On the first time caller line, you're on the air with Doctor Turi. Hi. Yes, my name is Clayton. I'm in Laughlin. Laughlin, Nevada. Yes. Yes. And I'd like to ask a couple questions. One is, what is the difference between uh, his divine astrology and psychic astrology? Is that myself? Okay. 
I'm a professional psychic, and I used uh, psychic astrology, and I predict, predicted megabucks two years in a row. Very good, very good. What happened is, you see, I was born in the same village that Nostradamus in the south of France. And before they turned his house into a museum, I was lucky enough to go and look and uh, study his, uh, his type of astrology.